YouTube, CMRM12 here with a deck profile. This time, it's my boy Joe. Hey, what's up? Uh, he's one of our top players in Game On, local. Uh, and we're going to have a quick deck profile of Shadow Paladins. Let's take a quick look. Uh, Study Vanguard is your Grade Zero, obviously. What else do you have, Shoei? Alright, for the Grade Zero lineup, uh, since we're forced to be stuck with this, we got our heals, we got our draws, we got our crits, and of course we got these guys, but we gotta wait until February until I get these suckers out and get myself some eagles. Yeah, bad stain triggers equal bad. Hell yeah. Uh, let's see. This guy's out late for And going into grade one, we got Javelin, of course. Poor Javelin, you those guys to bring up Blast of Dark. The plus one. Oh, yeah. The AK Vanilla, definitely need those no matter what. That's like a staple for this deck. Yeah, standard. Uh, two Aryan Rod. Um, I used to use Garuba Bell. I thought Garuba Bell was really good, but with this deck, though, I definitely need more hand advantage at the moment. So these two are going to stick around for a while with this. And they've been working out pretty good. They've been helping me fill my hand a lot quicker, especially getting me some cards that I need. Especially for Shield, too, against uh, Special Duke. Yeah, that's good. And then, of course, I run uh, four uh, Perfect Guards. Per People say they like to run three, but for me, in my case, the way I play, I always like to have four, and it just seems to always work out again. Like, I just always end up needing to use them all regardless. Yeah, and also, gotta get prepared for cross rides. Yeah, <laughs> no, they're gonna be good. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be end. All right, and moving on. Got ourselves the grade two, of course. Special Duke, SP version. Uh, these two guys. Oh, Have to be SP. Dang straight. And uh, for this guy, I only run two because, in all honesty, two is all you need. Because if you run more than that, he's just a basic 9K vanilla. I mean, people want to run him with the uh, Doran Bell, the uh, the one-eyed dog thing. Yeah. But, nah, it's not worth it. These guys they ain't worth it for that. Then I run Tumaka, also SP. Uh, She's amazing in this deck to use. I only recommend probably two. I think three, but that's probably a little too much because it's very counter blast heavy. But uh his his misplaying was affecting me. Oh shit, you don't like my bad. That's cool, that's cool. Yeah, for Maka's I say run two because it's good to use her in a situation like if you need it for uh Phantom Blaster Dragon or for uh Ildonis Limit Break, I think it's recommended for that. And then I run three damage on flippers because it's a very counter blast heavy deck. Uh works out pretty good. Um and it even helps keep the uh Vanguard um off a little bit because it helps distract the opponent. True. And it'll send him out. And then I run two 10k vanillas, but I figured, eh, what the hell. These two guys are cool, so I like to put them side by side. <laughs> Sometimes it throws the opponent a little off, depending on how many I have, but nah, just these two. I just forget to school with that. And then, finish them off. Two Namaze. SP Force. Uh, these guys are amazing to use. I wouldn't recommend more than this, because these guys, if you have to ride into them, you're going to have a bad time. Very bad time. But, you get these in, you use the effect good, it's amazing. It'll get you a very good hand advantage, especially if you like ride two at once, and you just counter blast two. Oh, there you go, got like four cards in your hand right away, boom. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's pretty good, though. Oh, yeah. she's, she's plus no matter what. Oh, yeah. And then, to bring it on home, my great three lineup. Now, let's see. Start off, we got two Dark Dictators. Uh, basically, Evil Alfred of the set. Um, him, I only use him probably like as a good finisher or end game because the opponents just don't expect that. When you throw him down, you pull the Soul Blast, you get the two fives. It's like as if you already got your triggers right off the bat. Like Soul Sailor Dragon, basically. Yeah. And you put Aryan Rod behind him, it just works out just as good because it just gives him an extra 2k regardless. So, I think it's perfect at two. Any more than that, I think you're kind of hurting yourself there. That's pretty good. And then, Vodkar, I believe that's how you say it. Uh, this guy is very good, especially for setting up for Blaster Dragon or Illidona, because he'll just basically just give you one right on the field. So that's just I agree. auto on max plus one right there. And then, I ride my Limit Breaker, my only Limit Breaker. Yeah. Uh, three Uh I like this card a lot. I like to use this card because um, it gives you a plus three against the Vanguard. Um, you know, of course you got. Of course, I'm taking away my defense here with uh, Phantom Blaster Dragon, but at the cost, I'm getting more attack power. 
And along the lines, if I have to limit break to get more hand advantage against my opponent for defense, yeah, true. that's why I just throw down my twos, counter blast two, and there you go. Plus, the extra three doesn't hurt either. I mean, put 8k behind that guy, 24k, boom. Brooke. And then, just for the heck of it, just one Phantom Blaster Dragon because, well, it's my SP. And <laughs> that's the money. Oh, yeah. That's the money. money. Yeah, my first pull ever. I can't believe that. But for this guy, um, I like how he gives an extra 1,000. It does help a lot for defense. Um, but I like to want to run of him because the thing is, his effect is all too expensive. I figure I get a little bit more out of the other guys um, with Bill Donut at the moment for this uh, because this is a very I need a lot of hand advantage at the moment instead of uh, more crit. I mean, when he comes out with uh, well, the cross ride next month, I'm gonna run two. Um, I'm definitely gonna run four Overlord and four Phantom Blast Dragon, and then I'll definitely change the whole way this deck works. I'm going for the kill. No, damn straight. <laughs> All right. Well, this is a good deck profile. This is good. This is a good deck profile. And uh, Anthony, are you gonna change? when set 5 comes out? Oh, of course I'm going to change when set 5 comes out. I'm going to get rid of... I mean, these guys are going to change. I'm going to put... Get rid of these. Get rid of these. These little bastards. Get rid of those guys. Uh, get myself some Night and Ulti Voids. Any SPs, let me know. Uh, definitely get the Death Feather Eagle. And, yeah, then I'll be set to go with this set. All right, then. All right, well, this is pretty interesting. All right, well, hopefully we'll see you later on in the future show with more deck profiles. Hopefully we hopefully get some future matches with you. Oh, hell yeah. And, yeah, so for now... Alright, well thank you Joe, and that's it. Later YouTube. Toodles.